Hello friends, welcome back! Sorry for the delay in updates again. Pretty much everything in my life took longer than I had hoped it would. I really wanted to show you some footage of how I do traditional art for once. It just turned out to be much more complicated than I had hoped or expected that to be. I recorded this with my phone and I was very well aware that the phone can't record for like forever. But I had actually been hoping that it could at least record for 10 or 15 minutes. I frequently have to take breaks from painting to let the paint dry anyway. Although ink and watercolor dry fast, so, so I don't have to wait for that very long. Still, it turned out that the phone can only record for like 5 minutes, maybe 10 minutes maximum or so. And then I need to connect the phone to my laptop, get the movie file of the phone, clear space on the phone and then I can continue recording, which is quite annoying. Surely you can imagine how absolutely swimmingly that works. Not. Hence there are a few minutes at the beginning of the video missing and also at the end, uh, but you can view the final result of the painting which with a proper scan and so on on all my social media channels available, so just take your pick. The links as usual are in the description below. I also apologize for the odd cuts that result from the camera problems. I suppose I'll try to get an actual camera if I want to record more traditional painting in the future. I'm working on the case, okay? The one disturbance that is not my phone's fault is my cat placing his furry butt on the paper at some point in the video. So I have to remove him and move him to some other part of the flat. It's basically a given that either one or both of my cats will at some point lie down on the paper or at least close enough to it to be in my way whenever I'm painting, which is okay because I'm used to it, but you should still know what the heck is happening on the video. So, now that all these apologies are out of the way, we can finally talk about the actual painting. This was a late birthday gift for a good friend of mine, and it's one of her Shadowrun characters, and also one of that Shadowrun character's numerous cats, because she quite has a lot of them. I work mainly with drawing ink, which is basically liquid watercolor, just much cooler and also better waterproof than watercolor, which is one of the reasons why I think it's cooler. Over the years, I managed to speed up my coloring process pretty severely, First of all, I always work very small, as you can see here. Second, the painting doesn't have a background to speak of, only that blue wash. And it has little detail as well, so I don't have to um, clean the brush as often because I need new paint. That also saves time. What also saves time is that I'm very lazy and I rarely mix paint nowadays. I always have empty chocolate boxes to mix my ink in, in case I end up using it still, but most of the time I use paint straight out of the bottle. One of the main differences between ink and watercolor is that ink won't dilute again if you add a layer of water or another layer of paint on it. Or at least the ink won't dilute much, also depends a little bit um, on the label and so on, and which paint it is and blah blah. Anyway, it won't dilute much, or nothing at all. That means that you can have several layers of paint on top of each other and they simply mix. That doesn't work well with watercolor because the bottom layer of paint tends to get washed off completely instead of just mixing with the new one that you added. It also depends on um, how much water you add to your ink, whether the new layer will actually like replace the bottom layer or mix with it. Basically, um, that saves time and also nerves for mixing the white shade of color before you actually apply the paint to the paper. So, I really hope you enjoyed seeing me paint in traditional media for once. I would really, really love to do that more often. We'll see, but I will also keep up recording the digital sketches. So, I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to see you back for the next video.